Hello everybody, Fritz of the Bear here. We're finally here for an open Harambe market. We saved Harambe, finally! You guys, guns out for Harambe. Lives. Time to get some food. Be sure to remember Harambe. You heard the girl. Now, I got the leopard's eye. I didn't realize it was frozen. I should have realized. It does have snow leopard vodka in it, so we are saving snow leopards with this drink. Bear cannot have it because it has passion fruit, mango, and kiwi. It looks like it's mostly kiwi. It is mostly kiwi. It's an interesting little slush. I quite like this. It's not better than the Mora Margarita, but it's like a, a good number two. If I was doing like a, a slush drink crawl, I would come get this after having the Mora Margarita and be very happy. I would give it three out of five kiwis. If you're not drinking a Tusker Lager, you're drinking a Victory Golden Monkey. Otherwise, you're doing Animal Kingdom wrong. This is a lovely, refreshing Tusker Lager. This is, if you're a Bud Light person, you're gonna enjoy this. This is a much more elevated version of Bud Light. Not still that like lightness that we all enjoy. Four out of five hops. Animal Kingdom always makes me sad because most of their frozen drinks, if only by luck of the draw for me, always seem to have mango in them. Especially like the specialty ones. But I digress. I will not never complain about a Tusca Lager. Not once ever. Cheers. Princess is right. If you're not doing Tusker or Victory Gold Monkey first, you really don't know how to do Animal Kingdom. Always refreshing, much better than Bud Light. I mean, I was, a nice flavor profile with still being pretty light. Always above average, three and a half out of five plus. And we have the plant-based option, which is a smoked Beyond sausage with a salad and rice. It's cilantro rice and they're, the mixed greens are topped with salsa. So it's basically a salad with salsa on top of it. So no dressing and white rice with in what looks to be somewhat overcooked beyond sausage link. Let's see how it compares to Flame Tree. All right, well, it does look cooked rather well. It does appear to be the hot Italian sausage link. It's definitely overcooked, but because it is, it has like a crunch to it that I kind of dig. And yes, it is the hot Italian, so it is, it does have a kick to it. If you're wanting one that's not so spicy, I would recommend Flame Tree. If you want something spicy, having a hot sausage with like white rice after is not bad. And it's cilantro rice, so it is, um, a little sweet. I'm gonna try the two together because I feel like they would balance well together. Okay. It is interesting, like sweet and savory together. I quite like that. It makes up for the fact that the Beyond sausage is overcooked. I'll give the Beyond Sausage three out of five fake pigs. 
I'd give the rice three out of five cilantros. And let's try this dressingless salad with salsa on top. The salsa looks like, I mean, I suppose it's like pico -y. It's like a little browned, which is interesting. And this looks like um, either hot sauce or like a vinaigrette of some sort. So I'm slightly confused. What What is this? orangey stuff. Hmm. It is a tangy, but spicy sauce that's on top. I think my mouth just went, oh, this is like a a six or a seven on the heat scale. That is spicy. So I suppose you're supposed to have the hot link with the spicy greens with the rice all together. Let me try that. All right. Spicy green. Smidgen of the hot link and the rice. I feel like this is gonna have a weird texture. It does have a weird texture. It almost gives me like sushi vibes, but not so much. Very spicy still. Maybe brings it more down to like a three or a four on the heat scale, but you have like a nice like burn at the end of that bite. Quite good. <laughs> Overall, I think I would rate the dish a four out of five harambes. Harambe would approve. We always find we get interesting plates here at Harambe Market. They're definitely not shy about stuffing all the food groups on the one plate. Rice sausage and then with your starch your protein and then we have our veggies over here now the salad looks odd with salsa on it but when you think about it what is salsa tomatoes seasonings onion pepper sometimes maybe there's some beans in it. I don't see any beans in this one but like that's basically everything you put in a salad it's just chopped a little bit finer so why an odd presentation I'm not mad at it Definitely a very citrusy salad with a nice little burn. Obviously, I'm a spice head, so my reaction to spice is a bit different than the princesses. I give like a two out of ten on the spice scale. It's a tingle, but it's not too bad. But there's definitely a kick for the average person. You're probably gonna feel that when you bite into it. But I don't mind it. Like as far as like a side salad to this dish, it's not bad. I give it three out of five plus. I would eat a whole salad of that. Then we have this. Uh, The sausage, it looks blasted like Benajer Link style. If you get that reference, hit me up in the comments. But uh, I'm gonna you to calm down back there, Harambe Market. <laughs> okay. They definitely overcooked the outside. Luckily, it's not dried out in the center. Small redeeming factor, but it's still like crunchy on the outside, like more than I would expect a Beyond sausage to go. As far as Beyond go, it is your typical hot sausage wing. There's anything too different about it. It's that same consistent Beyond taste. I get it. Two and a half out of five plus. As for the rice. It's solid rice. What I appreciate, what they get points for, is that you can mobile order just a cilantro rice. So if you are one of those people who doesn't like all meat, you can easily come here and get a side of the cilantro rice and there's a snack and be done with it. So I agree with that. Three out of five plus. Overall, I give the whole plate a three out of five plus. Um, I'm kind of sad about the sausage, but honestly, I'd eat this plate. 
So here we are, me finally returning to Ribs at Walt Disney World. It's been a little bit, but I trust Toronto Bay Market with Ribs. I believe we've had this before. If we have, we'll leave a link to that video before. But these look delicious looking. I love dry rub ribs. I prefer my ribs not saucy. I love a good dry rub with like a nice juicy tender meat. It's the way that I like all, most of my meats, like chicken or wings, dry rub is the way to go for me. But let's try this salad. I feel like we did the we did the princess salad dirty because we didn't get as much of this sauce over here, which looks like hot sauce. Nope. Look at sweet and sour sauce. There's no spice in that. Same level of kick as the princesses. In that two out of ten on the spice scale. But the flavor is good. Actually, she had more of the sauce all over the sauce than the lettuce, but. Again, it does make a nice side. I'm definitely not mad at the uh, combination with the peppers and onions and tomatoes in there. It gives it a nice, like, flavor profile with everything else. I believe the cilantro rice is exactly the same, other than having touched meat. You ruin rice, you will be on my list. For that, it's still the same three out of five claws. So here we have these ribs. Nice little, there's little bits of char, like I said, an even amount of char, not overly charred, not under charred. Hey, I'm worried that it looks a little bit dry, but I'm hoping that's just a dry rub, and not the actual ribs itself. So um, let's hope we, I haven't just walked into the next ABC commentary, which will really break my heart. The same as losing Harambe did. I like rib. It's interesting, it has like an Indian spice. But it's not overdone. Rib froth off the bone. It's not too chewy, undercooked. These are good. I would definitely order this again. Four and a half out of five pots. Overall plate, give them a solid four. You like ribs? Come get this. I'm already done. You ever heard of savoring your food before? I'm Persian. We eat slow. It doesn't look like slow. Still got a whole rib left. Probably market strikes again. I think that every time we come here, it gets better and better. I would be willing to stand by that statement. This place has been consistently improving every time we visited. The food needs to be something that's different and unique to Harambe Market, and we like that. I would like Disney to stop putting impossible, or sorry, beyond sausages at all of their quick service locations at Animal Kingdom. Can we have some variety, please? That would yeah, be nice. It is one of the most easiest to obtain alt meats. It's literally everywhere. In almost any grocery store you can imagine has gone. I've seen it in gas stations, for heaven's sake. Yeah. The one thing that gets me is these weird hours. Yes, we're in a press panini, but closing around Bay Market at 3 p.m. When the park miss. closes at 8, that's yes. a little crazy. We're one of the, be the best quick services here. But I get it. we got some adjusted hours. But I definitely think this place is worth a stop when you're here. Um, but again, if you guys have planned to come visit here or visit here soon, let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else around Animal Kingdom or Walt Disney World here that you'd like to see us go, that's a good place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like the video. Bye.